Hello, Nishreem. How are you guys doing today? Today is Thursday. Such a beautiful day. I just came from outside right now. Um, and just to get uh, some fresh air. And today we are going to read a book called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. You guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you find the egg? Little tiny little egg. There it is, right there. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. There he is, right there. And he's hungry, he's looking for some food. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. One. Bing. On Tuesday, Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. One. Two. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. You're right, but he was still hungry. One. Two. Three. And on Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. One, two, three, four. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four, and five. Ooh. And on Saturday... He ate through, ooh, this is a lot, one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and a slice of watermelon. Oh, my God. That night, of course, he had a stomach ache. And that's what happens when you eat all this stuff. You get a stomach ache. Oh. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon or a chrysalis around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon or a chrysalis and pushed his way out. And... <gasps> wow. He was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Wow. That is pretty cool, right? Man, the caterpillar, right? Was once a little tiny little egg. And then he popped out of there. And then he went and found himself some delicious yummy food. And he ate until he got super big. And then he found himself a nice little branch on a plant. And he built himself. He made himself... A chrysalis or a cocoon or a cocoon or chrysalis and he stayed in there for two weeks and then he nibbled a little hole and then he comes out when a butterfly comes out his wings are wet right and a butterfly is not able to fly yet because his wings are wet so he has to flap a little bit and sit so his wings can get dry and then after they dry, then he can fly. So, did you know that there's little, fine, little, tiny little hairs on the butterfly's wings that help him fly? And if we come in contact with a butterfly, and then we touch its wings, the poor little butterfly is not going to fly anymore. So it's real important to just look at the butterflies with your eyes and not try to catch them or touch them. Okay, if a butterfly lands on you, because sometimes butterflies do land on you, you can just look at it, right? All right. 
So go outside. It's a beautiful day out. It rained a little bit yesterday, but today is, is such a beautiful day. I'm going to probably do some yard work, but I will see you guys later. So you guys enjoy the day, and we miss and love you guys. So, Nishireen, bye-bye.